the true vision is something to do with meaning what you say inside as well as saying it. There are things that are, are obviously true and you just see them. If something is good, then you see that it's good, you should do it all the time. And if, if, if something isn't good, you should avoid it like the plague. From the cell window past the prison gable, he saw the topmost branches of a tree, watched them each day as long as he was able, the only living freedom he could see. His spirit failed him at the chainsaw's roar on the grey morning that they cut it down, till he recalled what had been there before and closed his eyes to watch its leafy crown. I suppose it has its basis in a kind of Buddhist view of things. Um, we're not different, we're, we're all atoms and molecules and so are they and we're all part of it to the utter end of the universe sort of thing. It makes me feel, feel better about myself. <laughs> uh, Yes, Treen, the gale was rattle and glass and sclate. I had the muckle dunt in the mirk nicht, an oury thing, I walk into the fricht, grup it I thought atween the shears of fate. It wasn't a cloth, though, makin' a less date, as I could plainly see in the morn's licht. Yon muckle ache that stood so strang and ticht, by yon, by on a janner blessed was the bait. I hake it. Men like aches, he felt the dunt made on the human spirit when they fell, who are fit mech tramp on tatmest wrench and writ, whiles the sick trunk shall see a burkey strunt and brag as if he broke it down himself, but don a kick for fear he'll stave his fit. I, I always grew exasperated by people who believe too firmly, firmly in their own brand of religion to the damnation of everything else and the bafflement of <laughs> most of humanity. They never, they never stick to what the original prophet was saying. That, that's much too difficult. Oh dear. And they, 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 read, <laughs> they read the original prophet and they stick to the fringe bits that they can be bigoted about. <laughs> I've had one or two spats with holy men on account of this particular thing uh, and I find as a matter of fact I find clergymen most clergymen are quite re quite repulsive in this respect that they expect you to believe one type of miracle but not, but if you happen to mention one which they don't have uh, that becomes heresy or something like that whereas it seems to me that Buddhism doesn't do this. It doesn't ask you to believe the absurdities. It just asks you to see. And if you don't see, well, no, it don't really blame you. You don't say it's a sin, but you should try to see things. Buddha is the sort of bloke I'd have liked to have met. <laughs> when you get away from the vulgar tongue, and by this I really mean the vulgar tongue, and when you get away from it, you, it loses bite. You can't express yourself. Uh, you, you know what I mean if you hear a street trader of some kind having an altercation with somebody in his own tongue, and it, it's it's impossible to put to put the same feeling in in standard English. He emerged about the gutters of my bairn head. Three medals on his breast and the pipe sound and four, four free wipers and the bloody song in this land fit for hearers to stare in. 
I couldn't pass him on a Saturday. I took gain up my hard one penny. You're daft, said my old mother. He'll spin it on the drink, but I couldn't just give by him. Yin's pipes of blow his octor, he heard the rattle of my arms in his tinny. He cried out after me, and either an ace or a blessing. My tackets dented on the cosy as I ran. A war, a war, for a can of what in his in. If I write satire, I'm tempted to write in Scots. Middle English has a, has a bite. You could use Middle English to write satire in. Modern English is not so good. You can't, you don't, it hasn't got the same bite, whereas Scots, I think, has retained the bite. They used to stop kids from saying, I, and I used to say to my classes, I is a perfectly good English word, said I, and if you go into the Navy and you can't say, I, I, sir, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm very fond of sonnets. I like I like the sonnet form. Of course, I I, I like Ottavarima as well, because I like Byron, who always wrote Ottavarima. But um, as a matter of fact, to tell you the truth, I have got a thing about verse, which not everybody agrees with, and that is that I think. That one of the things that verse that is important to verse, and I have quarrelled with poets time and again about this, is that verse, as, a, or as opposed to prose, requires that it has markers in it. It, it, it has to have, have the structure, memorable structure, and it's the structure that makes it memorable. Uh, like... Uh, it's like you take any nursery rhyme, like Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. It has form because it has, and its memorability is important. Because Humpty Dumpty sat There isn't a kid who doesn't know about Humpty Dumpty. I mean. And it knows it because it's memorable verse, because it's patterned verse. It has a pattern. And that's one of the things that's important. I mean, nobody can hear. The Ode to a Nightingale without some kind of vision that this is poetry. It really is poetry. Uh, you can smell and see and touch the things in that poem. And he could do that. Wordsworth has the same quality except when he's, when he's being deliberately religious, when he gets on my nerves. I mean, they've wiped out whole species of birds. This place, Kikubri and Ayrshire, used to be alive in, with lapwings, peewits as we called them. Yeah. And the, the whole sky would be alive with them, it's flashes of white. See. If you see something in the very special sense that you of knowing that this is right. On the hill slope, man merges into trees, loses particular, melts to stone and grass, where falling breezes lend him a swift ease, and as he strides on past, so all things pass. All blood and sap beats warmly through one heart, all sight is gathered unto the falling sun, no leg or stalk or trunk that moves apart, the sinews of all being move as one. The vein runs crystal, blood flows in the stream, blossom on flesh and bush, sky set in gold, eye that sleeps sound within a waking dream, true power all motion in his cupped hands hold, in a warm grasp that merges heart and mind, 
all separateness turn to a common kind.